Hi everyone, my name is Michelle and I'm Mama Loves You GB here on Flosstube, but also on Instagram and Etsy as well. Welcome to the Sunday Morning Briefing. It is Mother's Day here in the UK, so if you are celebrating Mother's Day, then I hope you have a lovely day. Um, if it's a difficult day for you, then my sympathies are with you. It's not nice, is it? I feel the same on Father's Day. Right, let's have a look and see what's been going on this week. For those of you who are new subscribers, you potentially won't understand the change in background. So the change in background is to do with the fact that we're here in the Cotswolds staying at my mum's house for the weekend. Um, and this is her dining room. So it's <laughs> not the normal background, hence why I've chosen to wear my uh, Sasquatch fleece because it's just a bit of a pattern disaster if I wear it at home, what with my pattern curtains sat right next to them. It's just an assault on the senses. So with a plain background, I've decided that the Sasquatch shirt is okay today. Um, it is actually Sunday morning. I'm filming on Sunday morning here for two reasons. One, their internet here is much, much faster. So this will upload in five minutes. It won't be a problem. And two, I've come down with this cold. I look like a person with a cold. My eyes are like tiny holes in the snow. Um, my lips have just gone suddenly really dry. Just a snot fest. So I will try and keep the coughing and sneezing to a minimum. Um, it does mean that you will also hear lots of random noises going on this morning. But I don't think this is going to be particularly long. It's not going to take up too much of your Sunday today to, to be caught up. So let's have a look and see what I've been stitching this week. So the first thing I'm going to show you actually is something that I missed from last week. See the door open straight away. Um, <laughs> now she's gone to find somebody else. Um, something that I missed showing you last week. This is the month in a mug for February by Fairy Wool in the Wood. So I haven't actually done any more on this. I just left it at school last week. So that's where we are with that. I've started to fill in the pink background and started to put the, um, the sort of cream on the top of the mug. So that's going to be great. If you like these, Jeff P. Smith on Etsy has got the chart packs for April with the stickers. And I'm really tempted to buy the one for April with the stickers. So, um, yeah, I might be doing this right after that, uh, right after I film this, because otherwise you'll have to do a So that was from last week. This week I have had a little finish, or a part finish, shall we say. So um, I've been working on this, which is a Stacey Nash release from Market. And I started this one, and I finished this, and I've started this. Um, already this one is going to be my own interpretation, because I mixed two of the colours up. But never mind. So this is the... The little bird there the only thing i've got left to do it uses little french knots for the strawberry seeds i've got some little mill hill gold beads that i'm planning to to use and this is stitched on 36 count fox and rabbit yellow clay which was one of the um monthly releases one of the month club fabric of the month club there we go somewhere swimming around in all that snot is the words um so that's the one i finished and then don't blink this is the start on the second one this little bird here should have been green but my little bird is brown and just because i have had a little bit of an iron at it that is the parsnip needle book from last week just in a different light and I've had a little bit of an iron at it but my mum's got one of those big fancy irons it's got like a stand to it and I'm really quite scared of it because if it suddenly bursts a load of steam out I know that probably some of these hand dyed threads may not may not appreciate that so I have had a little iron at it but it's not what you would call flat so love that when that's finished that would be cool as well. I think I've decided that I might make two needle books. I'm going to use probably 
all four of those designs to make two needle books because you're supposed to make it into one and this is supposed to be on the inside but I think wow well, I don't think that's a bit too a bit too nice to have on the inside so um yeah I should be doing that oh sounds like somebody else in the house has got a cold well in fact I know they have because I got it from them there's only so many days of somebody sleeping in bed next to you coughing and sneezing that that you can resist sorry about that okay so the other thing I've worked on quite a lot this week is my mystery well it was a mystery sampler to begin with it's called strawberry manor mystery sampler from Teresa Kogut and this was released through her patreon as a mystery sampler we got a part every month or so and I made quite a good start on it but she has released for her patreon a second one now a second mystery sampler and I told myself I'm not starting that until I finish this one I'm going to turn this one into a 10 year anniversary that's a better color for Chris and I so I need to date it 2012 and then if you can see I've already given the woman gray hair <laughs> And I intend to do the same for the man, except the he, the hair is going to be brown, but there's a distinct grey in the beard. So I'm going to make that into Chris. Had I known what the sampler was going to look like when we first started it, I'd have done that house white because our house is white. But um, other than that, I love it. And you might have seen people finish this and you can actually buy this sampler now. Uh, Teresa released it as one of her market releases. Now, when she first released this to her Patreons, she missed out the queue. Um, so I intend to not include the queue as well because it's only the Patreon people that don't have the queue in their alphabet. Um, and I quite like that. I quite like the fact that this is the Patreon original. Um, so yeah, and queue's not always included in alphabets, is it? So there we go. I shall not be including the queue on mine. And then the other thing that I have stitched on this week is a new start, because I needed another one of those, not that. But I saw this in, it just popped up on my feed and I've never seen it before, even though it's from 2018. And it's these hen ornaments by the Sub Rosa Design, available to buy on Etsy. So I have made a start using some 32 count um, golden French needle or French golden needle and there we go apparently once mum is done we're taking the dogs out um, and Des doesn't want to do that apparently. So that's my little start. Once you get the white in, there we go, for the fruit bowl at the top I think that's going to brighten up quite nicely so it's all sort of quite muted tones but I like that I'm not sure whether I'm going to do all three hens on the same fabric I might find other 32 counts and make them all a slightly different neutral tone I'm not sure right oh there we go let's show you that that is the new Patreon mystery sampler. So once I have finished the strawberry mystery sampler, I will start this one, I'm sure. Love the look of it already. Sorry about this. I had a timer set and the timer went off. Um, and so I stopped a minute ago and, and reset it. And then of course it goes off again, doesn't it? If you forget to turn it off properly. So results of the competition from last week. So we had three designs from Crow's Feet Stitching, Ruthie, and I said that I was going to draw them this week. So there was this one, which is the one with the daffodils, and that was the keyword. This one, the keyword was Easter. And this one, the keyword was King. So I didn't bring the charts with me, so I've only printed out the front covers just to remind us all what they were. So this one, the winner for this one was Rita Gallagher put your comment up there thank you Rita if you can get in touch with me either via my email which will be in the drop down box or by Instagram messenger 
um, send me your email, I will get Ruthie to send this over to you and you can be stitching that next weekend, I'm sure, straight away. This one, the Easter chart. So the reason we use the word Easter is because even though the sample is called Fanny Walton, um, Rosie did, uh, Rosie? Who's Rosie? Ruthie did a version of it that um, says Happy Easter on it because she thought it was such an Easter colours, such a fabulous chart. And the winner of this one, there we go, was Maureen Lopez. So congratulations, Maureen, you get in touch with me. And then the last one was the one that Ruthie has released in preparation for the coronation of King Charles III, which is going to be taking place on the weekend of the 6th of May, I think. The 8th of May is the Monday, which is an extra bank holiday. So I think the coronation is actually on the 6th. And this one has been won by Jessica Laurie. So well done, Jessica and all the other winners. If you get in touch with me, I'll get um, Ruthie to send those out straight away. Thank you. Right, 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 right. I've got stuff all over the place here. Stuff all over the place. Let's do the freebie. I just love this one. I was looking up for something else totally on um, Heartstring Samplery and I came across this one again. And I just think this is so lovely. And I've got a couple of little pots that I want to make and put a little pin cushion in the top. So I think this might be perfect. And I'm also really drawn to freebies that generally work on fabric that I'm already sewing on <laughs> because I think, oh, I could just put that down in the corner. So this is Grateful, Thankful, Blessed. And it is 60 by 60. So that wouldn't take very long to do at all. Love that. I just want to show you my Mother's Day present, as usual. It's a chart, of course it's a chart, <laughs> which is fabulous. I love this one, I've loved this one for ages. Stitches through years, it's called When Flowers Blossom. I just love that blue. I love the whole presentation of this, the frame, everything. And it was stitched on 40 count, where's the information? Uh, Fawn by Picture This Plus. And it's got a mixture of DMC, Weeks, Stella Works. Weeks Colour Works, new, new company there, Weeks Dye Works and Classic Colour Works. There we go. So that is my Mother's Day present. So she will be forthcoming pretty soon. And I've also got a couple of extra things to show you as well. I've got some stitchy kindness and a bit of information. So first of all, let's do the information. These will be popping through your letterbox very, very soon. They are going out on Monday. I received the next batch of the Fox and Rabbit fabric of the month on, what day did it come to be? Friday. Yeah, Friday. I was worried that it wouldn't have come before we left. So it came on Friday. Um, Mum is coming back with us, so she's going to go to the post office for me on Monday and post them. So I won't be hanging on to them for ages like I did last time. I uh, just a catastrophe of didn't get to the post office in time so you will actually be receiving your next one very quickly after your previous one and I've looked at mine and the colours are fabulous okay so yeah and I just wanted to show you it's been a long time since I've showed you the packets of those so um aren't they fabulous to come through your letterbox every month love 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 I've got some stitchy kindness and I've got one little bit of haul this is my stitchy kindness. So this is courtesy of Vivian and Trevor, who have been making the boxes for O'Tan and Balm, which you can buy uh, either by sending Vivian an email, I'll put her email down below, or by going on to the um, Facebook group that they sell through. Um, it's one of the cross-stitch selling groups in the UK. Again, I'll put the information down below because I can't remember off the top of my head which one it is. Um, but this is the box for Casting a Spell by Blackbird Designs. I'll put a little picture of it up there. Because uh, I was talking to Vivian and I'd said that I wanted to do this one. And uh, she, said, she said that Trevor could, could make a box. Now, I don't think this is a box that he wants to do multiples of. 
um, apparently, apparently it was quite fiddly. Um, but I am very, very grateful to you, Vivian, and to Trevor. Thank you so much. Um, I've got the fabric for it. It's a 30 count fabric. I've got the chart ready to go. And she also sent me this beautiful card as well. Thank you both. Now, speaking of boxes, this put me in mind of the fact that there are plenty of beautiful designs which require boxes which were originally sold in America. So what I did yesterday when we were in Cheltenham is I went to Hobbycraft and I thought oh, I'm going to go and have a look and see what boxes we can get and what boxes are available and I'm going to design a chart for that box. So I bought this box. So just a plain, I bought some Easter eggs as well, just a plain box with a square top to it. So my challenge to myself in the next few weeks, I am going to design a chart for the top of this box so that we can go out and buy the box that we need for the chart in the UK because we can get the box. That's my plan. That is my plan. I don't know what the chart's going to look like yet. I don't know what type of chart it's going to be. I've got an idea about the border. I kind of know what border I want to do already, but what goes into it, I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. Anyway, I won't take any more of your time today and I will see you next week. Stay classy, Stitchers.